Hi, on this video, I'm going to talk about Lucene Search in business application. Search is an important functionality of a business application. Let's create a database called version. Inside database, we are going to create a table and then insert a field record. Let's run it. And then we can go to the uh, application. Let's create a WPF application. Here is a simple uh, business application that without a search uh, is a WPF MVVM model uh, pattern. Uh, application. We have data access model, view model, and view. Uh, let's run it. As we see, there's no search functionality. We'll be able to select like different items from the list box, and then the customer information is rendered on the detail view on the right side. Okay, let's add the search functionality to the project. So there's two parts here for the uh, search. Uh, first, we want to index the uh, model that we want to enable the search on the application. Uh, in this case, we want to uh, index the customer uh, entity. So later on the view, we'll be able to search the customer. Uh, for that, we want to do the index on a separate project. Let's create a console project called search indexer. We need to add the Lucene uh, binary. And then we need to fix all this reference. And then we need to add a reference to the project first because we need the customer here. And then Still one error. Okay, uh, in this Lucene search index class, we want to create a directory in the C drive uh, Lucene uh, index. Basically, here is a store for the uh, index file of the application. And then we are using the standard analyzer. Mm. And then inside this run index uh, method, we are creating a index uh, object and passing the directory and analyzer. And then we are looping through all the customer. And then we are creating a document for each customer that uh, for the customer ID we set the uh, index to long analyze because we uh, don't need to search to the customer by ID in this case and then we want to enable 
the application be able to search customer by name. So we set the index analyze equal analyzed it. And then for the version we don't want to enable the search, so we set to non analyze. And then we add the document to the uh, writer. So the field here basically, for example, the name, uh, we are adding the name as the name, and then the value actually is the customer name value into there. And then we set the writer optimize, uh, to optimize. Them. Okay, let's compile it and run the application. Oh, actually, this is WPF application. We want to run the search index application. Oh, we need to add the reference. We need to add a connection string to the app config since we are. Uh, in the program, we are getting all the customer from database and then run the index on those customer. Okay, let's run it. And then in here, let's refresh the C drive. So we have a Lucene index folder created inside. These are the Lucene file. And now let we are going to add the search functionality to the uh, application. First, let's add the uh, Lucene package to the application. Then we are going to add a folder called search. And then we are adding a new class called Lucin Search. Here is the class. And then I need to fix the. Okay. We fixed all the reference issue, and then here is what the class looks like. Uh, we are getting creating a directory from the same uh, folder that we run the index on, so we can uh, query the uh, Lucene index uh, from the loop, uh, the index file in this folder. So we create a directory in here, and then we are using the same standard analyzer. Uh, inside the search here, we pass in the property name and property value. Uh, what it means is means I want to uh, search the customer name. Uh, that the name is the property name, and then the Value here means the customer name value, for example, Tom. Yeah. And then inside here, we are going to create an index reader. And then uh, from the uh, index reader, we are going to create a search. And then for the query, we are going to pass in the property name, which means I want to search for the customer name in this case, and then I'm passing the value, for example, Tom, in here. And then here, we are going to call search dot search, passing the query into here, to get the match result back. Basically, the score document means uh, all the match the result, I'm going to uh, get the top document for all the match result here. And then we are going to create a list of the customer. And then in here, 
we are look through all the documents uh, that are match on the search criteria and then uh, on each document we are going to create a new customer based on the uh, document information that was indexed by the indexer for example we get the customer ID we get a customer name and cu customer version use those information to create a new customer and then we return the list of the customer in the view code behind we are going to add a callback for the search in the view we are going to add a search text box and a search button here is a search text box and then here is a button that will involve the callback we just add it so basically in the search box we pass in this uh, name is the thing that we want to search and the value is the value in the text box and then here we'll return all the uh, customers and then we are assigning the first customer to the current customer okay let's run it let's select Henry here so as we can see the detail will render Henry here now we want to search Tom uh, as we can see now Tom is listed uh, on the detail view here so means the Lucene search functionality works thanks for watching the video